Hey everybody, welcome to G-Tech, and this HP Pavilion right here has caused me so much stress over the past couple months, it's probably taken years off of my life. Let me explain the situation here. Now this is going to be a bit of a rant, I'm going to use some colorful language, so I'm sorry, but I am pissed off. Now it all started a couple months ago back in late April. I found this HP Pavilion on Facebook Marketplace for around 400 bucks. Now it was missing the CPU. It also had an AMD RX 580 in it. Now that's a bit of a weird combo because that's a several year old graphics card. And I basically pieced together what this guy did who owned this system prior to me was that he bought the system, gutted the CPU and the graphics card, threw his graphics card in there and is now trying to recoup some of the cost. Ding, ding, ding. That's exactly what it was. But you know what? I figured I could buy this system, gut the GPU, sell the GPU in another system, make a bit of a profit, and that would cover the rest of the cost of this system. From there, I could put something like an AMD Ryzen 5 3400 in here and sell it at a bit of a loss because it's, you know, it's just an APU system. It's nothing special, right? I could sell it as like a light gaming machine. So that was the initial plan. It all was fine and dandy back then. So I dropped the 400 and something bucks. It was like 427 after tax and shipping. This thing shows up at my door. I got the GPU, put it in another system, sold it. We're all good. Step two, getting a Ryzen 5 3400. So I put out a PSA on r slash hardware swap and managed to get one off Mercari for about 131 bucks. So I get it, I smack it in this system and nothing posts. Fans are spinning, lights are glowing, no video output. That kind of sucks. I'm thinking, please don't let me have a dead Ryzen 5 3400G on my hands. I was thinking it might have been the CPU because it came shipped to me literally wrapped in a tissue stuffed in an AirPods box. So I threw together a quick test bench, smacked it on there, works just fine. Video output, system posts, and I even got into Windows. So it's not the CPU, it's something with this system. So like two hours go by of just trying to figure out what is wrong with this system. I'm thinking maybe it's the RAM. I tried taking out one of the sticks of RAM. I'm thinking maybe it's the SSD. I put a working SSD with Windows on it, still nothing's working. And after asking around a bit, eventually I find out that the motherboard inside of this system is a B550A chipset. The 3400G is a Zen Plus CPU, meaning it's not third gen Ryzen, it's second gen Ryzen. Zen Plus and B550 do not work together. Now I'm at a crossroads. I can either buy a motherboard that is micro ATX and fits in this case, completely ruin my rear I.O. support, because this does not have a removable I.O. shield, as well as completely lose all of my front panel connectors and have weird proprietary power buttons and stuff, because the motherboard in here is a stupid form factor and has ports on both sides. Or I can get a Zen 2 CPU and a cheap graphics card with as cheap as graphics cards are in this current climate and just lose a little bit more money. Figured I'd save myself the stress and just went this route. I bought myself a Ryzen 5 3600. It cost me about $166. And eventually I made a trip up to Micro Center and picked up a bunch of open box motherboards and stuff. But they managed to get some GTX 1650 Supers in stock as well. Now I spent way more on this than I wanted to. This ended up costing me 240 bucks. Not happy about that. But you know what? It was all finally over. I was gonna smack the 3600 inside of this motherboard with a B550A chipset, as well as this 1650 Super, no post. So I go back to the drawing board. I pull all the parts out, throw together that quick test bench again. 3600 works, 1650 Super works. What is going on here? This theoretically should work. I've now bought a 3600, a 3400G, a 1650 Super, and a $420 computer that I can't get rid of. So I do a little bit more research and I find out that the motherboard inside of this PC is called the HP Erica 2. That's like the manufacturer and the model name of it. But luckily it has processor upgrade information. And the only compatible CPUs with this motherboard are the Ryzen 3 4300G, the Ryzen 5 4600G, and the Ryzen 7 4700G. Now, if you know anything about OEM systems, you cannot buy any of those CPUs on their own. I checked AliExpress, Alibaba, uh, Craigslist, hardware swap on Reddit, everywhere. You can't buy those CPUs because they're OEM only. They're only sold in systems like this. So I get back to the guy who I bought the system off of and I ask him, I'm like, hey, just a quick question. What was the CPU that was in here? And he's like, Oh yeah, it was a Ryzen 5 4600G. 
That explains it. So now I need a CPU that I cannot buy to get this system to work and get it out of my hair. And I'm like $600 in the hole at this point. I feel like I'm at a standstill. I cannot sell this system. No one's gonna wanna buy this system without a CPU, which one of three in the world are compatible with, or a graphics card for the remaining amount of money that this system cost me minus what I sold the graphics card for. I'm essentially selling a non-working box for like 300 bucks. No one wants to buy that. So I'm looking on the HP support page for the motherboard and I notice that it says that the CPU socket on this motherboard is an LGA 1200 socket. Now, if you know anything about custom computers and have more than six brain cells, you understand that AMD Ryzen and LGA 1200 are not the same thing. LGA 1200 is an Intel socket for 10th and 11th gen Intel CPUs. Intel and AMD are two completely separate companies. You cannot put the two together. Like they physically do not fit together in the same system. So now I'm questioning the credibility of HP's own support page. So I tell myself, I've got one more shot. I'm reaching out to HP support and seeing what they can tell me, right? So I go to HP's website and I'm inquiring about this system and I'm in the queue waiting to get patched through to someone through live chat. And after about a half hour of waiting, I get patched through and the guy immediately disconnects the chat. I was pissed at this point. I had just sat through HP's support queue for 30 minutes waiting to get patched through to somebody and then immediately get disconnected from the chat. Now, to the guy's credit, he did actually call me and say, hey, I'm sorry, I accidentally ended the chat. Here's a link, join it, we'll continue where we left off. I'm like, okay, I'll give you a pass. So we're talking and I explain to him the situation. I've got this desktop and you know, I'm, I just, I didn't even tell him that it was missing a CPU. I just wanted to know what CPUs I could upgrade this system with. And he's like, okay, so the laptop you're inquiring, no, no laptop. It's literally written in the chat. It says desktop computer. What part of laptop, where did you find that? Are you kidding me? So I specifically told him, I'm like, no, I'm just looking to see what I can upgrade this system with. And the dude's like, well, I can't exactly answer that question, but I can recommend you to our HP smart friend or smart care system, whatever it was called. They, they just want to sell things to you. I literally need one question answered. You cannot tell this to me. You are tech support. I can find the information on your own website, but the information that I found is wrong. So I'm asking you, the guy whose job it is, to tell me these things, what is the deal? What can I put in the system to get it working and have it stop being a fucking doorstop? And you know, I tagged HP and I'm like, your guys' support is actual garbage. I could probably talk to a seven-year-old and have them say, oh, your computer's broken, you're missing a part. Yeah, thanks HP, that's really the support that I needed. But eventually, you know, they found me and they're like, hey, talk to us through DMs. We'll try and get your situation fixed. So they contact me through DM and they're like, hey, what's the problem? And I basically just recite the whole thing that I've been preaching for the last couple months about what's going on with this system. I say, hey, I have this HP desktop. and I want to know what CPUs I can upgrade it with. And the guy's like, oh, you know, I don't really know. And I'm like, well, that's actually bullshit because someone from your company sent me the link to what CPUs I could put in this system, but the information that they sent me is literally wrong. So you wanna tell me? And he's like, oh, do you have the link? I'm like, yeah, here it is. And I basically tell him, that link says that this system has an Intel socket, but it has three AMD Ryzen CPUs listed, which uses an AM4 socket. And he's like, the best thing I could tell you to do is call HP support, like the actual phone line. And I had been dreading to do this up until this point because I know that all they do is they pass you around, they, they waste your time and you get literally nowhere. Fine, I'll give it a shot because I've now had this system for about a month. I tell him, I bought this system. I wanna know what CPUs I can upgrade it with. Oh, I don't really know. Let me pass you off to, and it was like some other tech support phone line. Yeah, sure, fine, do that. Passes me off. I tell the guy the same thing. I have this system. I wanna know what CPUs I can upgrade. Oh, I don't know. Let me pass you off to sales. It's over, I'm getting nowhere at this point. So they pass me off to sales. I think maybe the person on the other end of the line is literally God and is somehow miraculously the CEO of HP and knows what is going on here. I 
Tell the lady the same thing. I have an HP desktop. What CPUs can I upgrade? Oh, well, you see, I'm just in sales. I just kind of sell you the computer. You know, I'm cutting her some slack because obviously she's not the person that works in the factory making these motherboards. She doesn't know that information. I'm like, okay, can you pass me off to someone who does? Yes, let me pass you off to like our business sales representative. And holy sweet mother of Christ, I have never met someone more incompetent in my life. This woman, I tell her exactly the same thing. I have now been on the phone for like 40 minutes at this point, and I tell her the same thing for the fourth time. I've got an HP desktop. What CPUs can I put in it? Oh, I have no idea. Word for word, that was her response. I was floored at that point. I was actually speechless. The last three people I've been passed to, yeah, you know, they say, oh, well, I, I'm not exactly sure, but I can pass you off to someone who does. This lady doesn't do anything. She just goes, I don't fucking know. Do I look like Gandhi to you? Do I look like an Albert Einstein, Mr. Big Brain in here? No, I didn't say you were. I was, I've been passed off to you after being passed to three other people, and I was told you'd have the answers. So what's the answer? <laughs> Hell if I know. Oh, that's absolutely fucking fantastic. So now I've been sitting here, wasting my life, trying to get this piece of garbage off of my desk, and I just... I just want to get rid of this thing at this point. I literally want to throw it down the stairs and in the street and just get rid of it. I don't care that I've lost money on this system. It's just the utter, the utter incompetence that I have encountered trying to get help for this system is mind blowing. And this woman repeatedly interrupted me, ignored what I said, basically called me out and told me I was wrong and that she had all the answers when she couldn't even tell me what was on HP's own website, the company she works for. She couldn't look this up and tell me. I got about halfway through and I'm like, this woman has no idea what she's talking about. And she's basically saying that I'm a moron. So I recorded it. I recorded her conversation. So I'm gonna let you be the judge of how competent she sounds to you. If you had, if you were in my situation, and you called HP support and someone said to you what she said to me, you'd be pretty pissed off too. I, I know you would be. So I'm, I'm just gonna let the clip play. And that would be the best thing I would recommend. Okay, cause in okay. the past, I've, I've talked to an HP support representative and they sent me a link to the specific motherboard model, which did show what processors were compatible, right? But there was an error on- <laughs> There, there was an error on that page. It contradicted everything else that was on that page. So now I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I've, this is the well, third. if it contradicted it, it could be that whoever bought it, bought it from some off market place. Somebody had done something to it. You know what I mean? I could, I mean, I don't know what they may or may not have changed in it. You know what I mean? If somebody was pulling the parts, but it, who knows? Yeah. If it didn't have that with it when it came, that is really odd. So, the best advice I can give you is two things. Find out what the serial number is on it, and you can go to um, HP Warranty Checker, and then if you put that serial number in, it should bring up what model it was. Then you can further dig by going to support.hp.com, put in that model number and the word manual, or just actually pull up Google, and put the model HP model number and... Um, and then put, uh, let's see, manual. Take Put the word manual. And then it'll take you to support.hp.com or one of the websites there. And then you can look in the manual for further information on it. Okay. okay? I, I know the... That's really the only thing I can think of for you. I know what the um I know what the product number and the serial number is. And I'm on the website for, you know, the motherboard. Wait a minute. As you probably already know, because, yeah, I have no idea what the website is. I'm on the support.hp.com customer support knowledge base website for the specific motherboard model that is in this desktop. Uh -huh. And on that website, it shows me the processor upgrade information, and it shows three CPUs that I can upgrade or put into this computer. They are the ones that are compatible that come from the factory through HP. But there is but there is contradicting information in there which is it's I'm I'm sorry but it's blatantly wrong. It's saying that it's using an Intel socket with AMD CPUs. That's uh, that is a those are two completely different brands. I wouldn't know what to tell you then. And there's nowhere that I can get to that would 
be able to tell you any differently. Okay. Be- the areas that I go to to dig for the information. Now, here's the thing. Based on what you're telling me, it sounds like off the off market. Something's weird. I'm suspecting who you bought it from. Who knows? If somebody got in, changed this, changed that, and then sold it. I don't know. That's what it sounds like to me. Okay, because the person I was just on the phone with was a sales representative, and they said that they could patch me through to you because you would have the answers. No, they're not going to have any more information than what I've already told you. There's no one at Maybe H... the person... Sorry. So there's no one at HP that knows the specification information. Yeah, it's going to be where I told you it was. And if it's not correct, it could be that something was going on with that computer. People pick up our computers in all different places and do things to them, and then sell them. We can't control that. So I have no idea what's happened, but that, that is usually the accurate information, and you're saying it's not lining up with the computer you have, but how many computers do people sell without a graphics card or without a processor? It just doesn't make sense, because that would have been sold with those things. Yes, I know it was sold with those things, and I talked to the person who I bought the computer from, about, you know, the specifications that were originally in it. I'm just saying that I'm looking at your support page, the HP support page, that has conflicting information on it. And that's going to be it. Wish there was something else we could do for you. But there's not. Yeah, that's going to be... Did you look in the manual? There is no manual. Yeah, there is. There's a manual for that model. And that's where you bring up Google, you put in HP, what the model number is, not the serial number, the model number, the word manual, it'll bring you to our, our site where you can download the manual, okay? Unfortunately, that's all I could do for you, and I'm sorry I can't do more, but I've been here for years, and if there was one trick or anything that I would do for you, I would tell you, but there's not. All righty, sir? Yeah, I guess. Have a good day. Bye. I'm sorry, what the fuck? And you hung up on me. Are you fucking kidding me, HP? You what? So I get tossed around to four different people. None of them know the information that the other people who, you know, passed me to or from said that they would know. And then this lady's all, oh, I've been here for years. What I know is right. But I'm looking at your conflicting information on your goddamn website right now. Holy sh- I'm at a loss at this point. I've done everything in my knowledge to get this system working. I've talked to other people in just other, you know, tech discords. I've been in their, you know, tech support chats asking them what they think, and they've been very helpful. They've gotten me to this point, and I'm now at the end of the road where I'm supposed to go to HP support, the people who built this machine for the answer, and they have nothing and I get hung up on. I was about to quit with this system. I was just going to throw it to the curb and say, get this piece of out of my hair. I'm done with it. I, I really don't want to lose, I think it was like 280 bucks after what I sold the graphics card for. That's how much I was in the hole with this system, not including any of this. So I put out a PSA and I just, I, 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 I throw caution to the wind. And I basically say, I'm looking for one of these 4,000 series Ryzen CPUs. I don't care which one it is, I just want it for a good deal. So I go on vacation a couple months ago, and while I'm on vacation, a guy reaches out to me, and he says, hey, I'm selling my own HP Pavilion gaming desktop with a 4000 series Ryzen CPU. I'd be willing to sell you the CPU to solve your situation. Oh my God, this man is Jesus. He's going to save me from this eternal hell that I've been living in. This man is God. So I basically ask him, what do you want for your 4700G? I'm not sure, it's an OEM CPU, you can't buy them. What do you think's a good offer? I can get you like 250 max. And he's like, I was actually trying to do 300. If you can meet me at 300, it's yours. I really don't know if I could do that. And he's like, well, I've got a guy willing to give me 300, but since I asked you first, if you can do 300, it's yours. Okay. I'm sick of this system. Here's 150 bucks. Let me get paid in three days and I'll give you the rest. Deal. I was saved. Oh my God. So I immediately sent him the 150 and like two days later I got paid and I sent him the other 150 and I said, hey, I've sent you the money. And he's like, oh, you're the man. 
here it is, I'll send it out. And it got to my house by the time I got home from vacation. I stuck this Ryzen 7 4700G in this system. Lo and behold, it posts. I can finally get rid of this literal piece of shit. This absolute fucking garbage e-waste that I'm sick and tired of having in my house. I'm $300 in the hole on this CPU. Now they're like 280 on this system. If I can get 500 for this system, I'll be over the moon. If I can get 400 for this system, I'll be perfectly fine. If I can do even 300 for this system, I just, I want it gone. I don't care that I've lost 200 bucks on this system. However much money that I spent on these, plus all this, which is probably at least eight or $900, if not a grand at this point, I just want it gone. I don't care anymore. And I want HP support to know that they are literally the worst tech support I've ever encountered in my 21 years of life. I'm not telling you how to do your job, and I'm not telling you that you should know exactly how every single trace and circuit in this motherboard was produced, because you obviously don't work at the factory in China or Taiwan or whatever factory that, wherever the factory is that manufactures these components. I know you don't work there, but it's your company and your company's information shouldn't be wrong on your own god website. It just shouldn't be wrong. I will fix your web page for you. You just select LGA 1200, backspace a couple times, AM4, done. You could have saved me so much headache. I would not have had to call your company. I would not have had to waste almost an hour of my life getting passed around to four people, each of which knew less than the last person, only to get hung up on by the last person who basically said, you're an idiot, you. Maybe it was my fault. Maybe I'm the incompetent one. Maybe I should have looked and seen what CPUs that this system was, you know, capable of being upgraded with. But even if I would have done that, the information still would have been wrong on HP's part because it's their own website and I will provide you the link to the website so you can see it for yourself. So I'm done. I'm selling this system as soon as I can. I'm making a review on this 4700G because let's face it, it's an eight core CPU with Radeon 11 integrated graphics. It's actually a pretty good chip. So that's it, I'm done. I'm gonna hate this system.